I do not know if you ever think about why we pray. Why do you pray? When I gave that a thought, I was like, why do I even pray? The reality is that, number one, I pray because I have hope in God. I hope in God, that's why I pray. If I do not have hope in God, I will not have any need to pray to God. Having hope in God is not a wishful thinking. Neither is my prayer a magic wand to get God to do all the things that I want him to do for me. But my prayer is actually for me to align with the will of God for my life because I know that God has the best for me and he has my best interest at heart. I'm not trying to tell God what to do for me. I used to think that prayer is like getting God to do all the things you want him to do for you. I used to think that an answered prayer is God doing exactly what he wanted like he wanted it. But I've come to a realization that my prayer is based on hoping in God that God knows what is best for me. And when I hope in God that he knows what is best for me, it means it's going to give me a favorable answer. It's going to give me the best answer that I need. And if his answer is no, then that is what I need. If his answer is wait, that is what I need. If his answer is yes, that is what I need. It means I have aligned with his will. Because I don't just want to pray and get God to do things for me that I want, but then those things are not in line with his will. I don't want to be outside of God's will for me as a human. So when I pray and have hope in God, it means I'm hoping for the things I do not see. I'm hoping for the things that are not presently in my possession. I'm hoping to get to possess them. Scripture says we were given this hope when we were saved. If we already have something, we don't need to hope for it. But if we look forward to something we don't yet have, we must wait patiently and confidently. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 also says, Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. So this is the thing you need to realize. Fear is actually a form of hope but fear is expectation of evil fear is you expecting something bad to happen to you and there are so many christians who pray from a place of fear they are praying to god but then fear is the basis they are expecting something bad they are seeing pictures bad pictures and that is actually the devil trying to get into their mind to overtake their thinking and their imagination bringing this image these pictures this video or scene or movie in their brain that is negative to capture their mind so that they are already envisioning and hoping for evil if you hope for evil somehow it might come because that is what you're hoping for even when you're trying to use prayer to be like to to cast away the evil you need to get in the word of god and understand what praying means and praying hopefully in god and praying a prayer of faith so that you will know that when i pray a prayer of faith and have hope in god i am confident that god is going to be good to me i am confident that god will do me good i am confident that good things will happen to me that is the scriptural hope scriptural hope is not i wish that god would do something good for me because right now i'm afraid that something bad might happen to me that is not scriptural hope you need to come back to know when i say i pray because i hope in god hope is a a Greek word that means L peace. And this L peace means a confident expectation of good or a happy anticipation of good from God. So it means I am confidently waiting, expecting that God will do me good, or I'm happily expecting good things to happen to me from God. So my true hope in God is for me to align with His will for my life. And I will give you this acronym that I carved out for hope, which I believe. H stands for happy. O stands for obedience. P stands for promises or purpose. Then E stands for expectation. And this is how I coined the word happy obedience to God's purpose and promises and expecting the same. Happy obedience to God's purpose and promises and expecting the same hope. Happy obedience to God's purpose and promises and expectation of that thing, that promise, that purpose of God. To be fulfilled in my life that is what i call hope is this happy obedience confidence obedience in god i'm going to obey god i'm going to do whatever god asks me to do and i'm going to walk with him so that i can get into the purpose he has for me so that i can get all the promises he has prepared for me already and i'm going to be expecting it i'm not just obeying happily but i'm going to expect happily that god is going to be good to me that is hope a confident expectation of good god is going to be good to me god is going to do me good God is going to come through for me. Why do you pray to God answers? The Bible says before we even say a word, he answers us. It means God hears our heart, but he wants us to ask. He wants us to talk to him. So this is what I see prayer to be then. I pray because I know that God hears and answers. So prayer is like having a honest 
and vulnerable conversation with God where I am transparent, where I tell him my heart, where I am sitting facing him and then having to listen for his feedback and to hear his perspective on what I asked for. Because sometimes I could ask him for something and then those things are not in line with his will. So I'm waiting to hear his perspective. He hears and he answers. Whatever that perspective is, then that is what I will embrace. This is why I pray. And this is just the short video I bring to you about why do you pray? I hope this video is beneficial and then you've gotten something from it. There's so much more to learn about prayer and to know about prayer, which I have done a lot of videos about prayer, which you can check my channel to watch those videos and be blessed by it. I am OM. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, do so. Hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and share it to someone. To be a pleasure of mine to have you be a part of this journey to watch content like this. Thank you so much and God bless you.